Hello everyone, welcome to French Fried Trains. It's Thursday, January 28, 2021. We headed out to Washington Street and we were only there about 10 minutes before the first train arrived. Check that out. This intermodal train is led by a shiny new CM44AH rebuild, followed by an ES44DC. The CM44AHs are rebuilt from old AC44CWs. This train would also end up having a mid-train DPU. but he took quite some time to go by. So we're gonna go ahead and jump around to save time. About halfway through the train and here comes that DPU. And there it goes, a snowy nosed ES44 ACH. This train keeps going and going. And finally, 10 minutes later, the bottom of the train goes by. About half an hour later, we had our next bit of action, but it wasn't a train. It was a railroad equipped work truck coming through the crossing. About a half an hour later after that, the gates dropped again. We had another train coming. Check that out. It was the CSX Track Inspection Geometry Train. An awesome catch. I haven't seen this train since the end of 2017 when I started my YouTube channel. So awesome we're going to see it again. This one is led by an old GP40-2, originally built in 1972 for the B&O, and one that wore chassis system colors. About 15 minutes after that, another northbound was coming up right behind.
Check that out. An X Conrail SD42 leads, followed by an SD50-3. An awesome catch. This is the second time this week we were lucky enough to catch this SD50-3. It's always awesome to see them, because there's not that many left out there in active service. This was J782, heading north into Nemoir Yard. He was going so slow today, it took him 15 minutes to go by, so we're going to jump around. Lots and lots of covered hoppers on today. This one has a splash of color in the form of some graffiti. This old Rock Island hopper has bared the test of time, and it's the rock paint scheme still barely shows through all the rust. Here we see an old family line system car. And now we're into a big cut of tank cars. Here's a cut of hoppers with an old Chicago Northwestern car mixed in. And another Chicago Northwestern car next to a blue tanker. And now we see a six axle flat car. And here's a trio of graffitied up rail boxes. And finally, 15 minutes later, the end of the train goes by. Since I was planning on leaving right now anyway, and he was going so slow, and it's kind of on the way, I tried to race him to Leo Street to catch that SD50 again. But of course, I hit every single red light, and he was well past the crossing by the time I got there. There's that trio of rail boxes again. He would end up coming to a complete stop and blocking this crossing. So I turned around and headed home for the day. So that's all for this episode. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone have a great week. Stay safe out there.